Hello everyone, welcome back to Delcast Gaming. This is Eric, your host, and I'm going to continue on Final Fantasy 16. And, um, I don't really remember where, I think I'm doing the storyline right now. None of the hunts are side quests, just straight, um, story right now. I think I did, uh, the last battle to, like, main dragon. I don't remember the dragon's na name right now, but you can pull it back from Final Fantasy 17. Or episode 17 I believe part 2 I'm probably going to change it to Final Fantasy 18 though just because I did a hunt but I haven't downloaded it yet I'm working on it and having issues uh, uploading my my video gameplay for some reason my Movavi is not downloading oh, everything I guess I'm going to try it again with a different episode to see if it changes but everything depends on the time and how long it takes. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious League of Merchants. Uh, Lord, Lord Underhill. Underhill. At your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners can afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is... Worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, I'll do it. But you needn't have gone through this charade. Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good, merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. I take it your scouts found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. All of them. You're not serious. They don't just want food, they want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups. One from the south, doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall fight. Together. Mistakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, nothing will. 
That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we will do the same. <laughs> the women folk have come to bug us. I'll take that one. He's all yours. <laughs> 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 The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. 
What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid, you fight considerably better than you act. I'll take that as a compliment. seem to have things under control, for now at least. Let's go for it. was wondering when had our small our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive... We knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care 
I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind's not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege. So I learned a lot more about Ultima, so Ultima is the jerk that's trying to kill my characters, I guess. But numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they No. But they're alright for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the free cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you.
Looks like I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of different uh, side quests here, which is good. I need to grow a little bit after that last fight with the uh, big dragon. I think I need to level up a little bit more. I mean, I did def de uh, did defeat him, but it took six times to finally defeat him. Could have been seven times, but I believe it's been six. None of these are plus signs, so they're all qu uh, exclamation marks. you put me in this situation, I need a hand for the recipe. Are you sure it's you are looking for? I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing, thank you very much. What I want from you is a little of your time, right? Or uh, perhaps your sword. You remember Ivan's stew, right? Well, despite the look of the thing, and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. If I had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of Skyburn. That's one heck of a name, innit? Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a tea. Only, turns out Skyworm livers and Drake's Mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they were, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Wow. Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who runs the shelves, maybe? Fine. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps I'll know something. And if you can see if I can find your ingredients for you. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to work on. Dragon Lagers. Yes. A very simple 
one would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback whale, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know what to look for a liver. But what about the drake's milk? Saints bonnet in contemporary lines. A herb which grows along the North Beach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. I have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed in the most serve that the flora had sustained it in life, in which regard a far out of the sky world is undoubtedly the typical day of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northridge, then. Best of luck, Clyde. And do you see the other once the dish is completed? So, uh, got more things to do here. Let's talk to this guy. Goats. Is everything alright, Goats? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's... It's alright. You can tell me. <sighs> Wait, what exactly are you getting at? No, 
Once in five hundred years, do you pay my affairs? I'll forget. What are you are today? Wake me up. I'm not a hero. Potter. Just asking. Out of interest. All right. I'm here, I'm here because, because I was, I was told, told that, that certain, certain rumors, rumors have, have been, been circulating, circulating. Uh, about, about you, you selling weapons to Britain. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And who and was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I, I, I didn't I exactly hear exactly you first heard that. But all I know is that someone in Calibre has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be the were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could lie my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you and knew you that. Knew if you'd ever paid this, I'd just be I apologize. It was wrong, it was wrong of me to doubt you. you. No, no, it was. was. No. no. I reckon you've got better things, things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. woman. Of course. Good day. Good day. Plath. Plath. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that made her feel as clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says, she says those days, days are behind, behind her. her. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. I knew no one wasn't caught, caught up in a bad. bad. But, but why would why people would say, say she, was? she was? What did she what ever did she do, she do to them? them? It's not, it's not right. right. No, no, it's not. It's not. But, people but people do things for all sorts of reasons. reasons. 
Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going I'm to find, find out. out. That trader, he said they were all talking about the Randallamill. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever spreading these rumors means Karen Hill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Kai? I suppose it is. And what is what that? Is that? It's, not it's not a set of scales, 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 is it? Is it? No. no. Of course it isn't. Well, well not, anymore. not anymore, it's not. not. <gasps> then just how long has it been one? We're sorry. But we didn't, but we break, didn't break them. We, dis we dis dismembered them. Just like Miss Minidor showed us. us. Miss Minidor? Why would she have you dismembered her creations? That's the only way, way to become an engineer. Miss Middle said. That. The best the way to see how some of it is to take it, take it apart and put it back together again. again. Well, then your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh, about that. The taking of the pole is easy enough. It's the putting the pole in the car. Speak for yourself. The heavy hand goes at the bottom. Then, 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 you three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? All right. Everything here is once part of Miss Middle Scales. Every piece has its own role to play, and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Suppose that is. It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minidol's dungeon is full of them. Most of the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round, 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 round. That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. These round 
rounds are called cool. 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 You all know what a man is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchen. Fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. What if I wanted to weigh you? Goose. Don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the skills together. Well, obviously, you need to start with the body. The other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms are good, just like the arms. Always, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pants by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. We'll finish this. Yes! We did it! Well, with Sid's help. Oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Middle's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah. Hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Middle and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't, it won't be long. long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with me, Shirley. Hey, hey, look. We never used the cold wheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? There's more hunts now. Looks like it. Let's see. Yep, we got one more hunt. See if I can do this hunt first, and then I'll go to the next thing.
cloak and dagger. We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the echo will come on whatever they're on. Much like Much life, life. but with better weapons. Up ahead. 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 Up ah
It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentlemen of the town guard are a splat. Fuck! How the hell did the finest shell sword? Could be I know something. Hey, Clive, listen! I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. 
here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this stall he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. Gentlemen of the town guard. What a mess. Where do we even You fought very bravely. The safety of the town is in our hands. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Leave now, and we can pretend this didn't happen. <laughs> Done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwind finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwind wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, 
end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goose, are you all right? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you, only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her, or I'll... or I'll... or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! Karen. But how did you... You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking, who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan back then, won't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you the same Pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You bitch. Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me. Goose, you... If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, eh? Wise words. And now it's time to collect. No! I can't! No! Sorry to keep you waiting. Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean it. Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? 
First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta-ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. My lord, Marcus, it is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, chief steward of your lord uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord uncle, tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs. And what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller, the realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, uh, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas. Alas. I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times, even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, the other the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose... I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety.
there were ghosts at the gate, not the days ago. You needn't fret. The creatures are... Meadows then. Ready, go. Run like the wind. Company. Poker T said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. Bright blue dragons and bright yellow flowers. Should be easy enough to spot. Must be our wyvern. All right, let's get this over with. the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. Bright yellow with a head. Scent. I think that's everything Molly needs to resurrect her recipe. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. 
Let's hope someone here has seen something. Come on. Faster! Someone's got himself in trouble. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, I have nothing. <laughs> And maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! These men are trying to rob me! I'll deal with this. Thank you. You that one's master, then? <laughs> if you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. He hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. <laughs> Expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Much has changed in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before, then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. That I arrived in Dalimil several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more, and his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free, only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down by elves. Then it's worse than we imagined. You should return to Rosaria. It's not safe here. Not to them. I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail.
There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. Hmm. Not here. Ready, girl? Deserve a rest. What happened here? If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been a long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. They look more like field hands, but. It didn't matter, in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Founder knows I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. Could they? This one's ours, pretty boy. <laughs>
Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. I thought I told you to make for the Vale. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the Ducal throne. It's just Clive, and I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a bestolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still... I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. As it is mine. There's so many quests. That's <laughs> crazy. What is that I got? This is Flare Breath. Cool down time by 2.7 seconds. Let me see. No, it's not a lot. There's something clear of something or another. Powerful one for all of these. Not very, although that's uh, Ramu, Mascaruda, this is the Phoenix, this is Ifrit. Hmm. 
me see if I can move one of these thousand ones. No, that's too expensive. It's one of my favorites. It's super expensive. I don't think I'll ever be able to get that one. I'm not using using that one right now. the other ones. Try that. Changing some of these. Uh, I really like that one though. It's pretty cool. That's fine. Let's pop that on there. Let's see what happens with that. to change it up a little bit. Well, I, well, say, I offered. say offered. He is good, he is as, good begged. as begged. Well, rightly right so. so. 
Is there any honour other than taking an of culinary history? I think he likes it. I can't even tell what that nonsense he's talking. I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sit. Might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blue bat wyverns forthwith? I'll give it some thought. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canberra. Is that not true? No, no, it isn't. It isn't. The, university the university offered her a commission. commission. In exchange, In exchange for full tuition, room, room and board, they asked they her to oversee, oversee the design, the design of, several of several new war engines. engines. To anyone, anyone else, it would be an opportunity. opportunity. But, but to Mid, who lost, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. pill. One, One she was, she was none too keen, keen to swallow. swallow. But that, but that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very, the very last thing you could be said, said to do. Which explains her heirs. She's working to give them a better life. life. And so and shall so I. I. What's the What's odd the engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've, no, you've given them, them far more, more than, than, that. than that. And I'm sure I'm they're sure very they're grateful. Very grateful. Again, and again, and you can't, you can't stop, me. stop me. 
Why you make me Fine. Play the music that makes you out play. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. That's his main But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dalaman. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. He's found me. Stop it. You make me want good art, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today will cost you the same as I did yesterday. <laughs> Should level up pretty soon. Did you see the food in there? I'm going to stop here guys and I'm going to continue the story. So I did some side quests. Actually, I do have to do that. Before I do that, I do got to fight that one thing. Got to locate it first though. I'm guessing it might be here that I need to travel maybe. To get that hunt. But I'm not certain exactly where that hunt is going to be located. Maybe I should just try. No, no, I can't do that. That's right, this piece here doesn't let me go in. And I can't go in here either. Oh, just let me do what I was doing. I got distracted. So I'm going to actually travel over here and see if maybe the one is this direction. Actually, you know, guys, I'm going to play it later. I'm just going to stop here for now, and then I'll come back, and I will be playing that. I uh, just got to go do some chores, and then I'll be right back, guys. So until next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.